Singer-songwriter Michael W. Smith, who is hosting a very special Easter service in New York City this Sunday with Reverend Franklin Graham. Michael Buttery Smith, I know we have you on right now. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. So tell me uh, a little bit about what your plan is. Uh, this is a weird situation, right? You're used to playing big concerts. Uh, Franklin Graham's used to having big audiences in his church. And this time you're doing it in a big place, but hopefully with a small audience that gets to still see it. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was pretty surreal. We we taped it uh, last Monday. Um, Franklin called me up and just really felt passionate. This is what we should do to celebrate Holy Week. Obviously, it's the most unique and different Easter that we've ever had in our entire lives. Um, I guess one thing for sure is that I know the building's not the church; the people are. So, and I also think it was meaningful for Franklin. It was almost 29 years ago that his daddy Billy. Uh, preached to what a couple hundred thousand people in Central Park and so but it was it was a, a bit surreal because you're Franklin's preaching and I'm singing and there's nobody there except the film crew um you know and sometimes you're used to sort of getting feedback and just kind of feeling the audience and that, that that was not the case but it was really a beautiful time I got to kind of take a look at some of it today and it's very very powerful and I think it's really going to be very very special to a lot of people hopefully millions around the world We'll look forward to seeing that. You know, Michael, we had on Franklin Graham last week talking about the field hospital that's there in Central Park, and I know that you were singing in front of it. What was it like to be in New York City during this time, and not only to be performing there, but to be at the field hospital? Were you able to interact with any of those doctors there? Yeah, yeah we, yes, we were. And obviously, I've never seen New York, New York City like that, kind of shut down, but just so much life in that hospital uh, and these doctors and medical staff sort of kind of putting their lives on the line. Nobody's been sick. As far as I know, nobody's died in that hospital. There just was, um, it was a good feeling. We obviously wore mask. And I think the only time I took my mask off is when I sang, but I've never washed my hands so much in my life, but just being on the safe side, but just watching these doctors at work and just doing an amazing thing right in the heart of, Really, this the heart of, of New York where just some of this is this obviously so prevalent. I mean, it's sort of the hot spot. So I, I can't think of a better place to be this last Monday, which is going to air on Fox on obviously this Sunday, but I couldn't think of a better place to be. And it was a great thing. And as far as I know, I'm healthy and I feel great. So. <laughs> That's great. We hope it stays that way. Michael, so many of your songs speak to not just your faith, but allow people who to, to feel their faith through your music and your lyrics. Do you have a message this Sunday for folks, not just in song, but something that for people who are feeling left out or want to gather together but are a little bit lost maybe during this time? Well, I feel like, you know, the, the, the people who feel maybe a little lost, there's a lot of people who fear. There's a lot of fear and anxiety. Um, you know, I just honestly think the, the whole faith thing changes everything. You know, I mean, I had an encounter with Jesus a long time ago. It just changed my life. And so when you sort of stand upon that rock, um, you know, there's not a whole lot that can really shake you. I mean, you just there's no fear in the Smith house. I mean, there's uncertainty, obviously. You know, my heart goes out to my band and trying to figure out how to keep, keep everybody fed. But in my whole camp, there's no fear. And so I think it's interesting. I mean, I heard somebody tell me the other day, they went to Walmart and all the Bibles had sold out of Walmart. Wow. Very interesting. You know, so, so in a time of crisis, it seems like people are going, maybe just reconnecting. Hey, you know what? Maybe I am here for a reason. Maybe it's not about me. And um, so I was, it, interesting that calamity and hope are colliding in this Holy Week. It's just, it's bizarre, but I think, Honestly, if I can be so bold to say, I think God does something to all of us in the midst of tragedy, and I think He's going to turn this into a good thing. My heart and prayers obviously go out to people who are dying, who are sick, and we just continue to pray that that will literally end immediately. That's what we pray for every day, believers all around the world. You know, Michael, I know that you've done— um so much in the past for aid victims and, and for many others. Will we see more from you? Do you have any other plans to do um, other concerts beyond what you've done that's coming out on Sunday? 
Well, my tour was canceled. Uh, I, I would say it's postponed. I did one show of my 25 shows about three and a half, four weeks ago, and it's all good. And so we'll, we've just rescheduled everything for the fall. Um, you know, I never know when I'm going to get invited someplace, you know, and especially in times like this, like Franklin out of the boo going, Hey, won't you, will you come to New York city with me and let's do this thing in central park? I said, no brainer. I'm there. So it seems like in the past, in times of crisis and whether it was nine 11 or the AIDS crisis or Columbine, you know, I was sort of involved in the after, aftermath of that as well. When I wrote a song called this is your time regarding that, but just seems like I get calls a lot and, I'm sort of humbled by that. I feel like I'm not really qualified. Um, but there's something about the power of music that translates through everything. I think it's the most powerful universal language in the world and how a three and a half minute song can touch somebody's heart and change somebody's life. I think that's extraordinary. Well, Michael, I think anyone who's listened to your music knows why you get called. So thank you for what you're doing. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you're safe this Sunday. I hope you have a very, very happy Easter to you and your family. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. Coming up, though, we're going to give you our good guys heading into the weekend.